Hello everyone. I have a very, very, very special intro for all of you today. Part of the reason these videos are late coming out is because I wanted to wait until I could tell you all this. But here is the news. The Reiki apprenticeship will be paid off probably tomorrow. The money has been accrued to get it paid off totally and completely. It's just transferring into my bank account where tomorrow I'll be able to write a check and that will be completed. Thank you so much for all of your support. Every single person who donated and every single person who stayed subscribed and who viewed and put up with all of my updates and requests for help along the way. <laughs> thank you, thank you, all of you for your patience and your support and your kindness. It's wonderful. I know we were at 66% last time, so you guys are probably wondering how we jumped to the end so quickly. I always told myself that, you know, if where the Reiki can pay for itself, then that is going to help. I didn't want to be relying totally on people's donations to pay for that. And so uh, somebody bought a 40 pack of Reiki sessions from me and so um, now that that is bought and paid for I can take that money and pay the rest of the apprenticeship off and so now all I have to do is complete the work to finish up the apprenticeship program and hopefully by the beginning of fall at the latest I will be a Reiki master so thank you all for your support, for your tolerance, for your patience. You will never have to hear another update about how far along we are on this. And be on the lookout because next week I do want to have some kind of celebratory contest. And so I do have some things rolling around in my, eye, in my mind, some ideas about what I want to do for our contest to celebrate the apprenticeship being totally and completely paid for. So that will be next week's intro. And now let's get on with your videos. Yay! Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of April 24th through the 30th. What we have showing up for us, my fellow Scorpios, on Monday is the Page of Coins. Page of Coins is good news about money or material goods. Yay! I love to see the Page of Coins. That is awesome, awesome. All right, looking at Tuesday, what we have is the Nine of Cups showing up in reverse. Nine of Cups showing up in reverse. What I'm hearing is the word anticlimactic. I think that we are having... <laughs> <laughs> we are having a wish come true or a dream come true, something we've been trying to manifest in our life that shows up on Tuesday. And um, whenever it actually manifests, um, we're going to realize that we had a lot more fun on the journey to manifesting this than we're actually having during the moments that it's actually happening. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. It's still a good thing. It's still a wish come true, but it's just going to be, um, I think we've been expecting it and dreaming about it and hoping for it and imagining what it would be like for so long that we've got it built up into this super huge thing. And when it comes along, it's going to be great. Yeah. But it's not going to be quite the ecstatic experience that we have built it into. Okay. So let's move on to Wednesday. Wednesday, we do have the Four of Cups showing up. Fellow Scorpios, you guys know what I think about this card. This is one of those cards that we try to use free will to avoid having actually manifest in our life. So Four of Cups does talk about having a massive pity party. Well, it doesn't have to be massive, but it does talk about having a pity party. So if we start noticing that energy coming in on Wednesday where we want to feel sorry for ourselves, poor me, life is so terrible, things are so unfair, blah, 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 blah. We want to turn that around. We want to focus on the positive that's around us and not pay so much attention to the negative. Uh, the pity parties, you know, they feel self-righteous, but they also feel like crap. And we don't like feeling like that, do we? Let's focus on the positive. Let's stay on the good side of life on Wednesday. Okay, looking at Thursday, here's what we have. Queen of Cups. Woohoo! This is us doing our thing. 
just doing our natural thing, being at our healthiest, happiest self, nobody interfering with what's going on with us. We're just doing our thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a happy card. All right. That was Thursday, Friday. <laughs> Friday, we have the Emperor in reverse. Talk about a total switch up of energy. First, we're doing our own thing. Nobody's interfering. Yay! The next day, we have the Emperor in reverse. This is basically a narcissist, guys. <laughs> Emperor in reverse for me is somebody who has narcissistic tendencies at the very least. So this is somebody who really is... Um, they can come across as very charming, very sweet, very caring. And then... Um, once they're not getting exactly what they want, you start to see a little bit more of their real personality. Maybe I shouldn't call it real, but the other side of their personality, which is um, really, it's all about me, it's all about me, it's all about me. If you can't do something for me, I can't do anything for you. See you later. Bye. You know, they're very uh, manipulative. They will try to use their charms in manipulating you as long as they think that that will work. As soon as they realize that's not going to get them anywhere, then they deteriorate into kind of three-year-old fit-throwing behavior. And they can be really treacherous, too. They can have other people believing that you're the idiot while they're actually... Um, yeah, not such a nice person. So anyway, we have some kind of interaction with some narcissistic person. Not going to continue to define narcissistic. You guys can always look that up if you want to know more. Um, but that's coming in on Friday. Hopefully it won't be a very long interaction. Hopefully we'll be wise enough to say, see you later, bye. All right. Looking at Saturday, we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is somebody expressing how much they care about us to us. So somebody telling us they love us or they care about us or they have concern about us or something like that on Saturday. So that's a nice card. That's a nice comforting card. All right, so Sunday. Sunday we do have the Nine of Coins showing up in reverse. Nine of Coins to me in reverse means that we're going to be doing pretty decently financially, but we're going to be a little bit lonely. We're going to be wanting to have somebody to share um, some of the niceness of our life on Sunday with us. Okay, so that is our week, Scorpios. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, some of you here this week for readings, and the rest of you I'll see on the next video. Peace out.